I honestly have zero idea what to expect today. That was painful, but awesome at the same time. I'm not even kidding. This is probably a good two pounds, I would say. Also, I wish it was bigger. Join me on a cold winter's day as we experience Zootopia for its first day at Shanghai Disneyland. We're going to try some of the food. Of course, we're going to check out Hawk Pursuit and walk around the land and see what the crowds are like. Also, we're going to head into the rest of Shanghai Disneyland where we're going to ride Tron, check out the pirates, and I'm excited to try this Duffy restaurant that I heard about. At the end of this video, I'm going to share with you my tips for visiting Zootopia so you don't want to miss that if you are planning to visit Shanghai Disneyland very soon. Good morning from a chilly, chilly Shanghai Disneyland park. So last night we went to the grand opening of Zootopia and today we're here for the opening day of Shanghai Disneyland, or not Shanghai Disneyland, <laughs> Zootopia. Because we didn't get to do all the food and stuff and see it during the day, so we're going back. And we're here early, we're inside the park early. We're here, uh, we got in an hour early because we're staying at the Toy Story Hotel. So first we're gonna head to Pirates because I haven't done that in five years. I really wanna ride Pirates. Then we're gonna get in line for Zootopia to get into the land. I have no idea how it's gonna work, so we're gonna find out. It's also really chilly this morning. <laughs> okay, let's go and ride pirates. We'll have to come back and check these decorations out later. He's not going anywhere anytime soon, quickly. <laughs> I'm always still amazed at how gigantic this castle is. It's huge, huge. The wind is really biting today, it really is. Treasure Cove. I can get used to this early entry stuff. Here it is, Pirates of the Caribbean, Battle for the Sunken Treasure. Five minute wait. Beautiful. <laughs> go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's the perfect way to start the day. I remember riding this opening day. So good. This is easily the best version of Pirates. Alright, let's go. The boats are massive. And we're gonna get it all to ourselves. <laughs> I miss that ride so much. It is so good. <laughs> like seriously, coming to Shanghai Disneyland just to ride Pirates is worth it in my opinion. Okay, it is 20 after eight and the park opens at 8.30. So we're gonna head on over to Zootopia. I think we probably gonna have to queue up. I, I honestly have zero idea what to expect today. So we'll just see how it goes. So over there is the Seven Dwarf Mine Train and we're going here. Hello. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> okay, good. We're beating everybody. So this, this is all hotel guests. <laughs> How long are they anticipating this line to be? Uh, guess we'll have to wait and see. I like the seven doors right there. That is really cute because the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is right there. 
it's the exact same one, well, almost exact same one in Disney World. The one at Disney World has the ending, you know, with the animatronics from the former Snow White ride. If memory serves me correctly, they don't have that here, but everything else is pretty much the same. This is long. <laughs> I'm very grateful for the early hotel entry, really am. So it comes with your hotel. So if you stay at one of the Disney hotels, the Shanghai Disneyland Hotel or the Zootopia Hotel, I was gonna say, the Toy Story Hotel, you get early entry. And we got in an hour early. It looks like they're letting people in. Downtown Zootopia, Tundra Town, <laughs> Zootopia Concert Gazelle. Here we go. Good morning. I have no idea how long the wait is going to be for this, but we'll wait and see. I didn't get to try the popcorn last night, so we're going to do that today for sure. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I see Josh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go and do Zootopia Hot Pursuit first because I know the wait is gonna get ridiculously long when it actually opens. <laughs> All right, here we go. I did a full walkthrough in my last video, so you can uh, watch that if you wanna see everything in a little more detail. <laughs> I wonder how long we're gonna wait. It is 8.30 right now. Oh, I'm excited to do this again. <laughs> Hi. regular day guests. <laughs> I am glad that we got in when we did. I'm going to be interested to see how long the wait, wait is once we're, we're done. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. It's exciting. I have a feeling we're going to use the entire queue today. Which wouldn't, you know, surprise me. I didn't get to see this part of the queue last night when I was at the grand opening. Hi. I love him so much. He's seriously my favorite. So cute. <laughs> I miss these. I didn't see these last night. There a bunch of banners of all the different districts. I got Judy's office and Nick's. So many little details. <laughs> I still love that. Things are moving really quickly.
Oh, the air conditioning. Okay, I, I understand that now. Oh, look at the little cells up there. <laughs> She really doesn't like Gazelle. That bellwether always causing issues. That's a lot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're going, we're going. Yeah, it's only been about half an hour. Here we go. The police badges. Here we go. So we waited about half an hour. I'm gonna have to go back and check what the wait time is uh, right now. I don't know what it is. I really, I really like the attraction. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, one thing I didn't say in my previous video is there, there is a lot of screens in it. There's like one part where I get a little, like a little, slightly motion sick, but it's, it's really not that bad. Just like, just a, a little bit. 
Okay, we're gonna get some food because I wanna try the big popsicle thing that is a marshmallow. So we're gonna figure out how to order that. Okay, so we're supposed to scan to order, it looks like, okay. Got it on my, getting it on my phone here. Okay, cool. I guess we order through here. I guess we'll do that. I am excited for this chocolate marshmallow. I am a sucker for anything marshmallow and chocolate. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> they have other little treats too, like marshmallows. That is so big. And you can get a cup here. And we're actually getting this. <laughs> First, we got this souvenir drink cup. Look at Nick, that is so cute. And the drink inside is a special drink. It is a white peach and waxberry. I don't know what waxberry is, but we'll find out. This is super adorable. The lanyard on here is so adorable. And it has a built-in straw. Tastes like waxberry. I don't know what waxberry is. It just tastes fruity. It is pretty fizzy. It's pretty sweet, I would say. The other option was 7-Up, but I thought I would try this out. It's actually, I, I like this. It's just pretty sweet for me. But this is, this is so cute. The drink, I'd probably give a three, but because it comes with this, I'm gonna give it an extra star. So I'm gonna give it a four. Four. Rating of four, that's what we're getting. This is hefty. I'm not even kidding. This is probably a good two pounds, I would say. I can't read the back. Um, I'm just gonna assume there's a ton of sugar in this. Maybe not literally a ton, but it sure feels like it. How do people come up with this stuff? I don't know. Well, we're gonna have to eat it, right? <laughs> Look how big this is. This is huge. Like I said, it's hefty. It's like a raspberry marshmallow. <laughs> That's very sweet. The stick goes all the way through. <laughs> that was very unexpected and I love it. It's, there's a lot of sugar in this, it's very sweet. But I do love the marshmallow. It's almost like a more gelatin texture than marshmallow. But yeah, this is definitely raspberry chocolate. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna give this a four. I'm gonna give this one a four. The novelty size of it is ridiculous. We gotta go, we gotta go. Let's see, exit over there. Yeah, I think they're restricting entry in here. But let's walk around through during the day. Didn't get to do that yesterday, so. We have the line there for the merchandise. <laughs> this place is very vibrant. And I'm noticing details I missed yesterday. So the pink building here, that's the, the merchandise shop. Yeah. A lot of places to take pictures. There's quite a few people in here. I love all the paintings up there. One thing that I didn't notice, so we see the giraffes, right? Or the giraffe exercising. There's also little hamsters. If you go up and look, there's little hamsters on the inside. It's so cute. Look at them, look at them. Oh. <laughs> uh.
There's just so much to look at. Right by the washrooms here, there's a little sushi restaurant. You can see a little, little sushi. <laughs> yeah, even during the day, this is a party in the corner here. <laughs> so you can get mobile batteries, right, to, to rent. But look down here, there's even ones well, they're not real, but <laughs> there's miniature versions. <laughs> I want this to be a real club. Like, come on. I love all the posters there. It's so cute. Okay, I thought those were like balls going through. No, they're, they're the little hamsters. The hamsters are going through that. The littlest things amuse me. <laughs> so vibrant. And I love that it's called Main Street, M-A-N-E. I kind of want to sit here and watch what all the videos are. I love the zebra crossing and this detail cracks me up every time. So we got the hamsters foxes and rhinos <laughs> the building for Zootopia Hot Pursuit is huge let's check out what the wait time is I'm curious I really like this here they have the door open so you can actually see Clawhauser in there so that's cool if you want to just like take a picture of him you don't have to get in the long queue that's really nice so people don't feel like they're missing out entirely that's really thoughtful, actually. Okay, we, we need to see what the uh, wait time is. Oh, it's only posted at 75 minutes. That's not bad at all. Huh. I was expecting it to be a lot higher. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. See if it goes uh, any higher. That is a, a very tall bus. Or vehicle. Whatever it is. There's just a ton of detail everywhere. A lot of uh, photo opportunities as well. <laughs> oh! There's Flash. Oh my goodness, hi. Oh, he's, he's checking his messages. Oh.
Oh my goodness. Answer it, please. That was painful, but awesome at the same time. <laughs> so Flash comes out of there. I wonder, because I'm pretty sure there's other ones, I think. We'll have to kind of hover around here and see, see what else we can find. Yeah, people are taking a lot of photos, a lot of photo ops, like the little windows up there. There's a lot of places for shade which is nice. Especially, it gets really hot in the summer. Okay, I wanna get some popcorn. Because I didn't get to try it last night. We're gonna get that right now. Corn flavored popcorn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll get the big one, please. Thank you. <laughs> and there's a popcorn bucket. I'm not going to get it, but there is a Hops family popcorn bucket. That's 188. That is so fun. It's a little small, actually. You know what? I'm not mad at that because you know what? They do take up a lot of space. This bench is everything. Floats in. <laughs> hey, look, it's me. It's Elsa. <laughs> take yourself. <laughs> the best film of the year starring two otters and a moose legitimate movie reviews you know what that's how i'm gonna review stuff from now on the packaging for the corn popcorn i still think it's strange it's corn popcorn look at the carrot look at this carrot it smells like corn soup that's what it smells like it tastes like corn on the cob it has that corn sweetness. You know, when you bite into corn on the cob, it has that you know, sweet corn. It tastes exactly like that. Oh, and there's like, I think there's some seasoning on this of some sort. I don't know. Either way, this is, this is really good. What do, I, what do I want to grade this? Four and a half with this one. What can I say about this bag? It is fabulous. Zootopia Concert Gazelle. I feel like I'm advertising a concert <laughs> by carrying this bag around. This is what they put our food in. And I am getting the famous popsicle. <laughs> it's cherry flavored and you know what? I didn't have to worry about it melting because it is cold today. It's something like four degrees Celsius. It's, it's chilly and I'm having ice cream. That is the Canadian in me having ice cream in the middle of winter. Ugh. Oh, I can hear the other animatronics, other Zootopia people are, people, animals, Zootopia animals are going. We'll catch them later. I'm busy eating. How perfect is that? This is perfection. Perfection. Or should I say, perfection. 
I'm here all night, people. I'm here all night. The jokes I make. I'm scared to bite into this because I, I can feel my teeth hurting already. Oh. Mm. It is a creamy cherry flavored. And unlike the popcorn, this is not super sweet, which I like. This is really good. Although, I wish the cherry flavor was a little more potent. It's not as potent as I would hope it would be. I don't know, maybe I'm used to like cherry flavored lozenges, you know, because those are very cherry. This is kind of a toned down version with you know, cream, right? So it's creamy, so it looks solid, because if it was not creamy, it would be like a clear, like almost like a lollipop, but that's not what they're going for here. I kind of wish it was bigger. After that gigantic marshmallow we had, I want like give me a give me a big old thing of ice cream. Huh. I'm trying to think of what to rate this. My heart is saying three and a half with this. I just wish the cherry flavor was a little bit more prominent, but the presentation is brilliant. Also, I wish it was bigger. All the benches have different artwork on them. Zootopia Transit Authority, where anyone can go anywhere. Cool. <laughs> this is a photo op here. <laughs> you get your picture, and look at underneath there. <laughs> I just noticed on the road here, they have different parking spaces. <laughs> and over here, they have different lanes. Like, the mice, the little ones, they get a little green lane. That's the, is that the turning lane? I'm guessing that's the turning lane. That is funny. I still can't get over the zebra crossing. <laughs> they were just advertising a dating app. <laughs> oh, Mioana. Oh, you can meet Nick and Judy. Oh, this is interesting. So the line is closed to meet Nick and Judy. They said it's going to be a three hour wait for the people that are waiting. So actually, you can actually come here to the side and just take, take pictures of them in between people. So that's cool. I like that we can at least do that. It's not too bad if you just want to get a picture of them. I think that's really cute. <laughs> She saw my hat. Oh. <laughs> a lot of places to sit and relax, and get out of the sun. But I think today you want to be in the sun because it's uh, pretty cool in the in the shade. I really like the Zootopia Central Station. <laughs> I really like the screens behind there. This area just feels really alive. Someone left their shirt up there to dry. Oh, what's, oh, what's this? This place just feels, yeah, alive. It really does. It's very lively. That's a nice detail. I like that. His eyes are moving. <laughs> He's doing his text on the <laughs> We had to wait to get into the merchandise store. So I'm not going to do all the merchandise because I did it in my previous video. So you can go and watch that as I go through everything in the store. I just want to buy some stuff for myself. Hey! There we go. <laughs> So cute. This 
什么事让你这样大发雷霆啊，我的心肝儿？你看这个，哦，亲爱的，你怎么把垃圾捡回家了呢？我没有，我是黄鼠狼把它卖给了我，说是高档珠宝，就是那个那个那个公爵。威斯顿，完、嗯、了，不是那扇窗。洛夫，你出卖了我，我们不是兄弟吗？你真够意思啊！我现在麻烦大了，你知不知道？威斯顿，大先生，让他付出代价，老爸，代价、嗯。妈呀！哎，哎，哎，考斯洛夫，你好啊，哥们儿。哎。The ride closed and now it reopened. Uh, now everyone is rushing towards it. I guess I guess we're gonna do the same thing. <laughs> So we're leaving Zootopia for a little bit. We tried to ride Hot Pursuit two more times. The second time, uh, it went down and we were outside in the queue, so they just dumped the queue and we left. Then when it came back up, we went back in, and this time we got far enough down the queue when it, uh, I guess, went down again, and they dumped the queue. They gave us a uh, fast pass to come back, so we'll come back later to do it. But we're gonna go and grab something to eat, and I am told there is a Duffy restaurant now, essentially. I did not know about that. I, well, you know what, that's a lie. I didn't know about it, but it's been so long, I just kind of forgot that it was even a thing. So we're gonna go and do that. So here's the celebration of Duffy and Friends at Tribal Table. This looks really cute. Yeah, yeah, I can't talk. So the food here at a celebration of Duffy and Friends at Tribal Table looks really lovely. Well, we're gonna have to check this out. That's cute. <laughs> What's this? Uh, there's no English on that, so I can't read it. Okay, well, let's let's go inside and get something to eat. I don't remember eating at this restaurant before, so this will be interesting. Oh, this is really cute. Oh, <laughs> I got the black truffle beef with egg and rice, and then also the roasted chicken with pineapple salsa. So this looks like Lena Bell, because you know, Lena Bell looks for butterflies. This, uh, I, I don't know. Who's this themed after? You decide. Tell me in the comments. I don't know. <laughs> I always forget that Shanghai is Pepsi products, not Coca-Cola, like at the other Disney parks. I knew that, I just kind of forgot about that. Anyway, let's try this out. The chicken with the ri rice salsa. Pineapple salsa, I don't know where I got rice from. It actually looks, it smells potent. Not bad, nice and tender. You can taste the pineapple salsa for sure. There's cilantro on here. I don't like cilantro. I'm one of those people where cilantro tastes like soap to me. So I'm having some soapy chicken. 
It's not that bad. There's not that much cilantro on here. It's definitely nice and saucy. Much like myself. The pineapple's not too prominent in there, but it's still there. It gives a nice little sweetness, which is nice. Try the rice. Mmm. There's definitely some butter in this. Oh, that's, that's actually really nice. Nice and buttery. I wish this was spicy though. I feel like this should have been spicy. It's actually pretty safe in terms of flavor. I'm gonna give this one a three. Now for the beef truffle, black truffle, whatever it's called. I had a hard time remembering what this was called with the rice and veggies. And I also forgot to mention there's a Mickey carrot on here. How fitting. Mm. Oh, the egg has some spice in it. There's a little bit of a kick. Yeah, there's a sauce in it. I'm not too sure what the sauce is, but it's, there's some spice to it. It's more of a hint of spice. Mmm. Mmm. That beef is very flavorful. Definitely taste the truffle. That's nice. Always a winner. A lot of theme park food has been doing truffle a lot lately, I, I find. Beef is nice and tender, full of flavor. This is a winner. Mmm. I think this is the winner out of the two. I think I prefer this one more than the pineapple roasted chicken. I'm gonna give this one a four. This is a four, a solid four. While we were having lunch, I grabbed us a standby pass for Mickey's Storybook Adventure. I had to look it up in the app. There were still standby passes available, so it's a show that looks like it's very similar to Mickey and the Wonders book at Hong Kong Disneyland. But of course this one is a little bit different. So we're gonna go watch it. We can start lining up in about three minutes. It starts at four, but they said you can start heading there between 3.15 and 3.35. So it was all done through the app. It's all in English, it's pretty straightforward. Just follow all the prompts. We're gonna venture around uh, Mickey Avenue here. I wanna see some of the Christmas decorations. We just ate, but Cookie Ann has a bakery? How did I not know this? How cute is this? That is so cute. Oh, and there's our boy, Olu and Gelatoni. Duffy's just chilling in the back. Probably won't eat here today, but good to know. Cookie Ann, she's busy. Oh, specialty coffee. Oh, and pancakes, you have to have pancakes. Oh, uh, my boys, they're over there. The line is closed, so I can't get my pictures with them, but I will gawk at them from afar. <laughs> Outfits are cute. All right, let's look at the decorations. Chippendales Treehouse Treats. Yeah, at the front of the park is where all the different, um... <laughs> sorry, the guy looked at me and said, so cool, <laughs> threw me off. Uh, this is where all the character greetings are. I'm a little late. They, yeah, they're all closed off. Oh well, that's okay. I want to look at these sculptures. Hey, Kristoff, how's it going? And Sven. Oh, little snowmen. Uh, I saw merchandise with them on it. That is adorable. Oh, well, that's very pretty. I like the Mickey snow dome, snow globe in the back. And there's Minnie. That's very cute. At the front here, they have Judy for the floral arrangement. That, that is perfect. That is super adorable. I always love this entrance. It's gigantic and the flowers are always so pretty. I like the little screens that they have with the Mickey wreaths. They have them along the parade route too. It's nice. Okay, I think it's time for us to go get our seat for the show. Uh, Mickey and Minnie are in their Christmas outfits. Very pretty, I love the blue. Donald and Daisy. Oh, bye. I know it's cold, go get warm. Here's Mickey's storybook adventure. We're gonna head inside. I've never been in here before and the artwork is gorgeous. Decided to sit back here so we have no one sitting in front of us. 
That's usually what I do for Mickey and the Wondrous Book as well in Hong Kong Disneyland. So we'll see if this uh, works out for me or not. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Expected to be almost a carbon copy of Mickey and the Wanderers book from Hong Kong Disneyland. I'm not mad at it. They did change some stuff in there which I did enjoy, like the Princess Medley. In this one, it's Mulan, Rapunzel, and Moana. The one in Hong Kong is Merida, Rapunzel, and Ariel. <laughs> and they replaced the genie part that's in Hong Kong with Zootopia here. And there's one other one, I can't think of it right now, but I'll show it in the footage. <laughs> and the song, Happily Ever After is in Mandarin. 
I've never heard it in anything other than English because it's also in English in Hong Kong. And it's the song that's used at, um, at the Magic Kingdom. We have the tree lighting ceremony that's in less than an hour. What time is it? Yeah, it is 20 after four and it's at 5.20. So we're gonna head on over to Tron and ride Tron because we haven't done it today. It's been a long time since I did Tron here in Shanghai. A few months ago, I did it in uh, the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. It is cold. Can't see my breath. I don't think I'll show on camera. But yeah, it's, it's chilly. It's like four degrees still. And the sun is going down, so it's gonna feel a lot colder. This is Custodio. This entertainment, that's funny. It's very pretty with the sun setting. It's only a 10 minute wait. It's always a good idea. Yeah, we waited basically nothing. The 10 minutes was us walking through the queue and then getting on the attraction. <laughs> I remember riding that for the first time back in, bye bye, in um, 2016. Still a lot of fun. We're gonna head on over to the tree lighting ceremony because it's at 5.20 and it's currently five o'clock. I'm going to guess the tree lighting ceremony is right there with the tree, with the lights. <laughs> I wanna look at these while we wait. Really cute spinning donut. <laughs> I love the vehicles going around on it. <laughs> it's really cute. Try to get in front of it so I can see the front of the donut. There we go. And then we have Flash. At the front of the Gardens of Imagination, they have Mickey and Friends up here. My voice cracked, don't mind me. <laughs> Goofy and Pluto. Mickey and Minnie are over there. And we have Chip and Dale. You can see them right there between Mickey and Minnie. That is so cute. <laughs> and then Donald and Daisy. Over here, you can see a gazelle. She's looking all elegant and fabulous on the water there. <laughs> and then we have Clawhauser. He's way over there. All by his lonesome. Aww. The lighting ceremony was cute. Now we're going to head to Pirates again because it's only a five minute wait. Oh, look at these popcorn buckets. Is there Winnie the Pooh one? How much is it? 158. That's cute. And there's a holiday one here too. How much is it? Uh, 218. Hey, Bell. She's beside a post box, and there's one back there too. It's just like a generic Shanghai Disneyland one. It's 
nice. <laughs> and here for popcorn they have the famous corn, corn popcorn and caramel. I do like that, that's fun. We were walking by Captain's Kettle and so they have the turkey leg, right? But they also have this grilled corn with cheddar, ranch and bacon and it sounds delicious. I'm not hungry right now, otherwise I would try it, but that sounds really good. Whenever I come to Shanghai Disneyland, I have to do the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. And it's only 25 minutes, so you know what? We're gonna do it. That's what we're gonna do. 25 minutes, that's nothing. Oh, those heaters are nice and warm. We've been zigzagging in this queue for the last five minutes. I think the 20 minutes of the 25 minute wait time is just going through the queue. <laughs> I feel like the entire queue's open and we're just zigzagging back and forth. We're gonna get there eventually, I think. Oh, there's still more to go. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Cute. Oh. Well, at least it's no more zigzagging. And we're inside, it's warm. So while you work. <laughs> oh, that was a nice blast of hot air. Seven Doors Wine Train. Yeah, when we finally got through <laughs> the zigzagging queue, yeah, it was not even 20 minutes, honestly. It's more like 10. Anyway, you can see here on the app, so Zootopia is behind Snow White, and the entrance is here. So you have to wait to get inside, and they have the wait time on the app. So it's estimated 10 minute wait. And then the exit is on the other side. So I, I was actually really surprised. I thought it'd be a lot more than this. I think at most I saw it I think I saw it at 30 minutes or 40 minutes earlier in the day. I, I honestly thought it was going to be absolute chaos today, but it wasn't. It was quite pleasant. <laughs> but we're going to head inside here back into Zootopia because we have the fast pass to use for Hot Pursuit, which we want to do one more time. And the entrance is right over here. How's that for a reveal? Or wait, oh, it's over here, Never mind. <laughs> wait, no, yes, it's over here. I got a little too confident. <laughs> wait time, 10 minutes to get inside. Party access entrance. Oh. Well, we don't have that. Definitely don't need it for 10 minutes. And 10 minutes was spent walking the long queue. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't take us 10 minutes to get in at all. Oh, it's a lot more calmer than it was uh, earlier today, which makes sense. It is getting a lot colder too. It is very beautiful at night. I have my grand opening party video where I walk through here in more detail in the evening. If you want to see that, I'll have it up on the screen for you. It's only 40 minutes for the attraction. But we have our fast pass, so we got to go over here. Party access is right over here. Also, single rider, but we're not doing that. We have our ticket with our fast pass from earlier, so they'll scan it. At least with the priority queue, whatever it's called, <laughs> you get to see Clawhauser. Oh, we walked the opposite way when they um, dumped the line. Okay, I see, I see where we are. Okay, cool. What the 
Scare tickets again. Oh, I didn't see this last time. Because I was busy looking at the other donuts on the other side. I'm assuming he was telling us to go. Okay, 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 I will. Yes, sir. B1, dispatch. B2, pachyderm parking. B3, intermediate parking. B4, compact parking. B5, super compact parking. <laughs> okay, we're in B1, right? Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Bye. Here we go. Again. Just got out and Nick and Judy came out. They're very popular. <laughs> I've walked by all the trash cans so many times and I didn't stop to quickly show you them. They're nicely themed. Zootopia Public Works. I love the green, I love the zebra print on it. Perfection. Yeah, it's not too crowded in here right now. I say it's rather comfortable. It doesn't help that it's cold. <laughs> I've been trying to catch all the different commercials or advertisements that they have on here. There's just so many. I like the real rodents of little Rodania at the top. <laughs> It got pretty chilly at the end of the night there, so we left the park and came back to the hotel. It got down to about zero degrees, but overall it was a wonderful day and Zootopia wasn't as busy as I thought it would be. Like the land was still pretty busy as you saw in the video there. It was uh, crowded for the majority of the day when we were there and then it kind of, the crowd dissipated as the day went on and into the evening, I think because it, it was, Pretty cold. I do have some tips for you for visiting Zootopia. I have them here on my phone. If you're visiting, I guess now or next month during the winter, dress warm. It is gonna get cold. It's a humid cold. 
So it's going gonna, it's gonna to chill you to the bone. Dress in layers. Anything that is fuzzy, get it fuzzy. Fleece. Wear fleece. Thank me later. I would say for the, if you're staying at a hotel, like the Toy Story Hotel, Shanghai Disneyland Hotel, you get into the park an hour early and use this to your advantage. Now, you don't need to go right to Zootopia first thing in the morning. Obviously, I've only done this once, so your mileage may vary. I would say go for 7.30 if the park opens at 8.30. Maybe do one or two attractions like Tron and Pirates or Peter Pan, but Peter Pan is currently closed. I'm not sure when it's coming back. And then go to Zootopia after that, and then you can get in before people start coming into the park at 8.30 or whenever the park opens, and you can get uh, the attraction Hot Pursuit done first thing in the morning, and then the rest of your day should go pretty smoothly. For the food, there's no restaurant in Zootopia. There's just the snack stands, so the places that I showed you. Have something to eat beforehand, or have plans to eat somewhere, like an actual full meal, afterwards. Zootopia is not a full day thing. You're not going to spend all day there. Honestly, maybe two, three hours at the most, depending on the wait time for Hot Pursuit. If you want to take a lot of pictures, you can do that. That would eat up a lot of time. Probably the thing that took the most amount of time for us, aside from the attraction, was waiting for the characters to rotate uh, during that show that you saw earlier in the video where Flash came out and the other characters, like the shows kind of rotate and I couldn't quite figure out how often it happens. Uh, I was able to catch, I think two of the three, I think there's three or four shows, but I definitely watched two different ones. But yeah, definitely like two, three hours probably at the most for that. So you're not gonna spend all day there. You can enjoy the rest of Shanghai Disneyland as well. That's what we did. For Nick and Judy, that looked like it was probably the most popular thing. We didn't get to meet them because they cut the line off for the greeting. And they told us that the people that were last in line, they're probably going to be waiting three hours uh, for the greeting. So I don't think I would want to wait that long to meet Nick and Judy. I love them dearly, but I'm not wait willing to wait that long. So I'm not 100% sure on how it works but I would make that a priority if that's something you want to do. I don't know how early it starts. I don't think it's first thing in the morning. I'm not sure it's, it's best to ask a cast member, but just keep that in mind. If you want to do that greeting, you're gonna have to prioritize that over everything else. Otherwise you're gonna be waiting a very, very long time. And those are some of my tips for Zootopia. I'll think of some other ones and uh, probably put them on, on our website or in another video or something. But I also want to show you some of the stuff that I bought. Bought a couple of things. So first, I got this Zootopia sweater. And this is, it says Hot Pursuit on it. So the attraction name. And on the back, it says Shanghai Disneyland. How much was this again? 259. So this is a large, should, should fit me. I usually fit a large in these. So it should be, shouldn't be too bad. The XL looked a little too long for me. And then I also got the t-shirt version of it. So the sweatshirt was blue, like navy blue, and this is black. And the, the sleeve says Shanghai Disneyland on it, which I really like. Anything with the park name on it, I'm gonna, just go nuts for <laughs> and that is not all so this is not uh, Zootopia related I did a little bit of shopping after we left Zootopia now these are I, I think these have been around for a while so I got a Tron attraction pin and also a storybook castle pin as well I think I recall seeing these a long time ago, but I just never bought them. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to buy them now. And then I got the Mickey snowman. Look at him. <laughs> There's a Minnie Mouse version as well. This is super cute. Ugh. 
adorable. Love it. Now I have to get packed because we are leaving for Beijing tomorrow because we're going to Universal. So we'll have videos on that coming out. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you are so you don't miss our videos. And if you haven't watched our other Zootopia video, I'll put it up here on the screen for you so you can go and check it out. I never know which side of the screen to point on. It's going to be on the screen. It's going to pop up there somewhere. I don't know how I'm going to finish this. This... <laughs> This popsicle marshmallow thing. I, I'm serious. This thing is hefty. There is some heft to this. And <laughs> well, she said to try everything, and well, here we are. Here's the result. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm going, bye.